Catherine, who you all know.
joint us, and you're not going to sign anything years ago. And the next thing you know, you're getting the hell and you're going to a part of the class. And, you know, I think there's 40, so 40, 45 people, and that's actually a lot. So two issues came up. I'm just going to tell you about them. I'm not going to tell you who said what. Thank you. 
said no, because frankly, we are finding that it's usually not the kids fault they're late, it's their mother or their father, the one who drives them. So, so this is a, a kind of very comical, another one is a story from uh, our friend Watts, who's got a sister, his sister, who can imagine, and her, again, his story is about 10 years old or so, but uh, I happened to run to Richard just last night, so I updated this and make sure that there is. Uh, his sister's school, his sister's children's school, notified the parents that walking to the school was not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> I guess because the road is unsafe. And what makes a road unsafe? People walking? No, cars and trouble. So, um, I think it's really great that you guys seem to understand the absurdity of the traffic jam that takes place in front of every American state um, these days. That's a relatively new thing. So I didn't know my parents didn't know about my generation. So um, with that, I want to thank you again, and I guess we have awards again. Yes, there are some awards to that. Thank you very much.
safety and hope for the future. So,
to move the pond. And uh, fourth graders go up every year to the public library, the kindergartners go visit the science department, and the recreation center is right in the corner. So we get a lot of walking in, it's been great. Um, we're still working really hard on the people that live further out, figuring out the same thing for them to get to school. We built this really cool sidewalk way back in St. Louis School, started on the job.